Hey guys, it's Dr. George here, and I just wanted to really pass on some amazing news. And um, today, the data has been released from the Partner Study, which is an ongoing study that looks at the rates of HIV transmission in people who are currently on successful HIV treatment. That means that the, the amount of virus within their blood is not detectable. And this study has been going on for many years now, and Previously, it had been reported that people with a non-detectable viral load were not able to transmit the virus, i.e. if you're on HIV treatment, the medicines are working um, and the um, testing is not able to find HIV in your blood, then it's not able to be transmitted. Um, and this has been extrapolated forward and confirming it yet again. So with more, the couples, they looked at um, had more than 58,000 episodes of condomless anal sex um, with one partner who's positive and the other partner who's negative. Um, <clears throat> the criteria for a non-detectable viral load in this particular study is 200 copies per mil. Um, now, please be aware that currently in my own practice, non-detectable viral load is actually less than 20 copies per mil. Um, that's how good the technology is. But we know that even if you don't get to 20 copies per mil, if you're under 200 copies per mil, again, it's confirmed that people are not able to transmit HIV between their partners. Um, in, within this study, there were 11 people who did seroconvert, who became, who went from HIV negative to HIV positive. However, when they, <coughs> pardon me, when they looked at the virus, the virus was not the same virus that their partner had actually been infected with. So, what does all of this mean? One, it means that if you are on HIV treatment and you've been able to get um, to a level where the virus is not able to be detected, you've got a non-detectable viral load, then this is very, very reassuring that it is extremely, extremely unlikely that you would ever be able to transmit or infect another person with HIV. So that's a great thing. Um, the other thing is that what it does point out is that therefore the transmissions that are still occurring here in Australia, here in America, worldwide, has to be happening in people who do have a detectable viral load. And people who have detectable viral loads usually don't actually know that they're living with HIV. So for me, what this study actually shows is one, is that people who tell you that they are living with HIV, which is a very brave thing to do because there's so much discrimination, but if somebody tells you that they're with HIV, living with HIV, and they have a non-detectable viral load, then, you know, good that's great that that from a perspective of that when it comes to hiv that pretty much um what we've shown is that condomless anal sex in those situations does not transmit hiv so i don't think people need to carry this fear and stigma when when somebody was to tell them that they're hiv positive the other thing though is that we really need to keep on reinforcing the importance of getting tested um, because there are a percentage of people who are living with HIV but are not yet aware of that. Because they're not aware, they're probably not on treatment, which would mean that they most likely have a transmissible viral load. Um, so the people who say, I'm, I'm last time I got tested, I got negative, I was negative, um, the last time they got tested might have been in 1984. You never know. So what I would say is that the, the partner study reinforces that the treatment works and it's very very successful not just for stopping transmission of HIV but also for the health benefits of of everybody who's living with HIV that the treatment really is effective and it does work and we need to keep on getting tested and we need to ensure that people who are testing positive for HIV are given the opportunity to consider whether or not they would like to go on treatment um, now there is a small percentage of people who are not able to get to a non-detectable viral load and we're still working on that but um, even if people's viral load is below 200 then that's a really bloody great place to be so anyway great information and i think that this is a very very positive outcome for the partner study and i if you'd like to learn more about the study there's a link below with a link through to the data anyway have a great day see you guys